Don Lamont, CNN is freaking out. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna punish him or something. And CNN is rending its garments over trying to figure out how to to. Because Don Lamont said that terrible thing about Nikki Hill. Not even he said that terrible thing about a Republican. And I mean, CNN to be fair, is really he said it upset. about women. He said it about women. And uh, you know. So you, you're offended. You're you're in your prime, according to Don Lamont. You have to be feeling pretty good. <laughs> I, like, I hey. get a few more years. I get a few more years. Uh, but Dave, hold on. JVL and I on the secret pod, we talked about this, and I said, "Listen, I I I wanted to call it then that Don Lemon was going to get in more trouble at CNN for his women not in their prime comments than any of the Fox News people who flat out lied to their audiences about the election being stolen and have been caught red handed saying, of course, this is lunacy. Uh, nothing is happening to them, as best I can tell. Nothing, no change, no apology, no acknowledgement of it. Uh, and, and as, as per, uh, I think as predictable, uh, Don Lemon, in some real hot water. I think, I don't know what they're going to, what, what, what are, where are they officially right now? Are they going to, is he taking some time? He's not on right now. What's happening? Uh, he's back tomorrow. Oh, he's back tomorrow. Which, okay. I, I don't, which is maybe a punishment. I don't, he doesn't really seem like he's enjoying his new show with his co-hosts. Which may, there may <laughs> be some sexism related to that. I don't know. I don't know, but uh, it doesn't, there, it's not, it's not, it's not killing it on the chemistry standpoint. You know, it's nothing like the next level podcast like this as show. far as, uh, as far as triad is concerned. Um, so maybe, maybe just, maybe his punishment is having to go back on the show. Um, uh, I don't know, but, um, he, he did, he had to go to a training. He has to go to a training. I don't, I don't know exactly what the training is. It's like, Don, <laughs> women, when, you know, women in their 50s are capable of many things. <laughs> they can run for president. They can be mothers. They can be on television. I, I don't know what he's going to learn at this training, but, um, you know. Hold I don't on, know. Tim. I want to know something. When you yeah, heard please. when you heard Don's comments, were you like, yeah, that sounds right? Because this to me, <laughs> Don Lemon's comments sounded to me like, easily something coming out of your mouth me like absolutely i was like i was just watching I'm a father. Don I'm, a, I'm a girl dad now i don't think so no. maybe 20 years ago me 15 years ago me um uh-huh. gay men we do have a little bit of a you know sometimes you do a little, a little bit of a blind, blind spot, spot maybe. on the misogyny we do you know uh, <laughs> a little bit sometimes it's a little bit challenging to wrap our heads around we don't have a lot of women in our lives you know, um, and so sometimes there's a little bit of a blind spot. I think that I think that's a fair criticism of gay men. Um, and, and I JBL do think didn't know Don Lemon was gay. This is also a thing we had to cover on the secret pod because I was I was explaining to him that sometimes gay men have this blind spot. And JBL's like, Don Lemon's gay. Yeah. And I once like, I once I heard that, I was like, oh, this all makes sense now. Yeah, Don's gay. Yeah. So I mean, so you could see D Don like the wheels are turning. He's like, I just I'm I'm talking about like when the childbearing age. And you're like, can women childbear? <laughs> what are the words there? Like, can I vulva? Like, I don't, you know, gay men, we just start to like we start to panic. You know, We're like, oh my god, I'm, I'm talking about <laughs> I'm talking about girl parts now. Anyway, um, I love how we just kept being like, Google it. They say it on Google the call. Google. Just Google it. That's what I have to do. Um, anyway, uh, so but Don is going to have to have to do a training. Um, but he did apologize. Wasn't did. good. Whatever. He did apologize. And I do to, to JBL's point. He wants a ta- It is not as if the woke left came for him for like you know the fact that he said something inappropriate about some left wing right like it was a Nikki Haley it was a Nikki Haley critique you know and it's just like can you imagine again like like, now you did the fox comparison which is the obvious comparison about about the fact that none of these guys are held accountable for the dominion lawsuit but but what about a more apt one what about any time that Eric Bowling has made fun of Kamala Harris, right? right? Or Greg Gutfeld has made fun of Kamala Harris or said something. Like, could you imagine one of them going on TV and apologizing to Kamala right. Harris? Never, right. never. They'd be on, that would be a much bigger um, gaffe on Fox than saying something misogynistic, which probably helps them, right? And so that that is what pissed me off. The other thing that pissed me off about this really to kind of women empowerment is because she doesn't get enough credit in this whole deal is just changing the subject a little bit over back over to Fox. Jackie Heinrich, the the woman who did the who sent the tweet that was like, yeah. "No, Donald Trump, you are wrong about Dominion. Like there's no proof." What I don't remember what the exact tweet said that that sparked the internal text that got revealed where Tucker and Hannity, these two powerful men 
are, are like plotting behind the scenes to get her fired for doing the job, for being the one person there doing a fucking job of journalism. Like there is just no possible, no matter all of the fuck ups that CNN has had, all of the bias, you know, anything on any of these shows that people don't like, there's just no comparison to that. Like it is impossible to conceive of Anderson Cooper, like trying to fire someone for saying something nice about Ron DeSantis. Like it's like, that's true. Like correcting, you know, um, I, I, the whole thing is just so, so like really maddening. What do you think? Have you watched, have you watched uh, Don Lamont on, uh, CNN this morning? I've watched it a few times. You know, I was doing Don's show mm. semi-regularly there at the the end or so there, you know, the night time. He's, huh? he's having a lesbian on. Not that's not that sexist, you know? Uh what he said is like really bad, but it's also sort of funny, uh, because it is so like it's so obvious like it's such a terrible thing to say. Like it it is it is a it, you can genuinely uh, and watching him, watching him in real time, like work that out in his head. And also my favorite movie. I don't know if you've ever seen it. The prime of machine Brody JVL makes fun of me because he says all my favorite movies are from, it's like, guys, go watch the prime of machine Brody. It's early Maggie color? Smith. It's in Technicolor. <laughs> it's set in Edinburgh in the thirties. <laughs> I will not be watching that. <laughs> okay. Well, she's always talking about how she's in her prime and I bet she's in her thirties. Um, <laughs> I think, I think that, I think given her, given us the forties, um, you know, I think that's a little, it's actually, you know, it's kind of progressive, uh, for, <laughs> for old Don, uh, women are, women are in their prime always. Hope you enjoyed that clip of the next level. You can watch the full episode if you click the link down below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and, uh, leave a comment. Tell us what you think too. Bye.